Welcome back to another episode of Chris, the chef who cooks. On today's episode, we're making some bloody chicken. I don't know where the name came from. I just thought of it like 10 seconds ago. Yo, for bloody chicken, you are going to need chicken. We're using this bruschetta, bruschetta, bruschettas, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it bunitas. You're also going to need some tomatoes. And of course, we're using some spinach. Who doesn't love spinach? Yo, step number one to this bloody chicken thing is you're going to need some of this bruschetta. Bruschetta. It's just some dried tomatoes. Basil, garlic, I believe, tomatoes, olive oil, well, some type of oil, all these. Want to open up the baggie of the chicken. Shake up your thingy. If you have this exact thing, shake it up. If you have, like, something else, just always, like, mix up your things a little bit. That smells really good. And we're just going to grab a spoonful, like a nice heaping spoonful add it in there and we're gonna take a little bit more too and add it in there take out most of the air in the bag not most of it just take out some air now we're just gonna mix it and like oh like you don't have to do this just I just got home from school like 10 minutes ago I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go chill relax for a little bit and then when it's lunchtime, I'll just add a little bit more flavor since it's been sitting in it for like two hours or so. Now if you had garlic, you can put some garlic in here too. If you, um, anything you really want. Like, and I don't know how this is, it's gonna smell great, I know. And actually today, you might be thinking we're gonna bake our chicken today. But I believe we're actually just gonna pan fry our chicken today. Change it up a little bit for it. Variety is a spice of life, and this pest in this bruschetta thing is a spice of our chicken. As you can see, we have the chicken. We have the the sauce thingy. It's not even more. It's more like a paste all over our chicken. We're gonna set that in the free in the fridge for two hours. Just let it rest, let it chill, take a little nap. You know, I'll get back to you in two hours. Don't mind this over here. That's Chef Alexis not cleaning up her dishes. You know Chef Chris does not improve of this. Clean your dishes. You know she's probably just saving it to clean it later. Don't. It's it's lunchtime. We're back and it's lunchtime. We've got a chicken here. But before we just toss it on the pan. We're going to heat up the pan a little bit. We're gonna add a dash of oil. Just a little bit of oil. And I'll get it in there. You know, today, Chef used some olive oil. You can use vegetable oil, peanut oil, avocado oil, any type of oil you want. And we're just, again, just gonna let that get a little, a little toasty. I mean, it's spring out right now, but it's still a little chilly out in here in the kitchen, so we're gonna get that, get the like, get that. You wouldn't get that little toasty. We need that too for the spouse. So right now we have this over a medium heat. I'm just gonna add some sun dried. Since our chicken is sun dried tomato like pesto, I'm gonna add a little sun dried tomato and basil to it. Just let that cook for like a minute. Hey. <sighs> Whip it. Get this. You can see. You can like smell it too. It's starting to like bubble a little bit. Get a little bit of a shimmer shine to it. And then over here we just have our water boiling. We're starting to heat up. Because if you know Chef, you know we are using it. With pasta for like every meal. Mm. 
You can see the bottom of it. And then it's a nice coat of the white when I flip it over. Add the pasta to the water. I'm just gonna break up the chicken. So, so from the other day I have this sauce and we're gonna cook it in here before I cook it look I have like as you might have started from like the one episode from the homemade sauce I have a seasoning packet we are just gonna if we can open it we are just gonna cut up cut this open This is really hard plastic to open. I'd use like Hulk strength, bro. And then we still have like the oil in here from like the. Ooh, that's a lot. Whatever. We still have the oil in here and like all the tomato residents from the chicken. I'm gonna turn it back on the heat. We'll just let this, you know, soak up some, like, open up a little bit. When you guys have problems, sometimes you guys take baths, right? And you take those baths to open up. So right now we're just letting this take a bath so it can open up a little bit. And then we will add the sauce. So let this like simmer. It's on it's on low heat, like number one. Just let this simmer a little bit. Well it's not gonna simmer you, just let it heat up. While we have that sauce just heating up a little bit. Well, while we have it on low heat just starting to get warm, we have these tomatoes and just gonna cut them in half. Make sure if you have any fresh fruits like this or vegetables, always wash them first. And we're using that special tomato knife that you saw from the epic three pound burrito we made. I'll meet you right back at the stove top with these beautiful tomatoes and spinach. But now we're just gonna add these tomatoes that we had from before. Just gonna go add them in and we they're not gonna break down or anything they're gonna keep them as like little chunks just for a thing i'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit to three so it's so low heat so it's gonna turn it up a little bit let me sure you guys can see that nice and pretty and our pasta is done from before so we got some nice pasta We're just gonna add our chicken back into this. And then we're also, in about 30 seconds, just gonna add our spinach to it too. It's gonna take about 30 seconds or so. We're just gonna let this finish cooking and just like let the um, spinach you know, get soft. We, we have this looking nice. I probably should have added a little more sauce in the beginning, but I don't like too much sauce, like all my pasta, but you tell me this does not look like some good bloody chicken. So I'm gonna turn off the heat, make sure everything is off. Yeah. 
Now we're just going to add this sauce to the pasta. Ooh. Right there. And we'll get we'll get the rest of it too. I want to see you try to tell me that this does not look bomb. Got some vegetables in there, fruits, maybe for tomatoes. I don't know. Who knows? It's 2017. We don't judge the things, but. Ooh, this is looking nice. Got the pasta. Got these cool, like, little, they're kind of like little corkscrews. I'm going to give you guys a live taste test because I know you guys love that. So we want some spinach. Put it over to the side. Is there a small piece of chicken? Got some spinach chicken. There we go. Got a little bit of everything. Wait, we need some pasta. A little bit of everything right here. Mmm. Mm. That's, that's good. I mean, as you guys know, I only cook good food. That's good. Definitely want to do you do that like bruschetta stuff again. But usually, like when I heard of that, that's usually like things you put on like little breads and you eat them. I think that's the same stuff. I'm not sure. But I definitely want to do that again with the chicken and bake it. That would taste delicious. I want to, That's definitely going to be your recipe. I mean, I do it on here, but I'm definitely going to make that one day in the future. Very good food. And as always, if you guys have any questions on how I make the things, want anything more specific in detail, or if you guys have any food suggestions you guys want me to make, let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed. Ha! Whip it if you're the Pillsbury Bunny Dome Man. Who knows what he is anymore. I'll see you guys later. Shut up.